Lori Quinlivan is an independent video producer, consultant, and former investigative reporter for the I-Team. She is a graduate of Miami University in mass communications. She serves on the Mount Lookout and Columbia Tusculum Community Council. She is endorsed by the Democratic Party and lives in Mount Lookout. Welcome. I'm Lori Quinlivan, and I am running to bring a new energy and a fresh perspective to City Council. I love Cincinnati, it's my adopted home, and I know we can do better. I'm anxious to use my skills to help speed up the pace of progress here. My background is very different than anyone else running. I'm an investigative reporter, a citizen activist. For 13 years on the I-Team, I asked the tough questions for you. I investigated the important issues for you, but I was paid by Channel 9 did you know that? <laughs> and I reported to Channel 9. And now I want to work for you. I want to report directly to you. So what will I do? Number one, the same thing I did on the I-Team for all those years. Watch over your taxpayer money. I've eliminated waste of taxpayer money in many communities. But the one story that people remember me for is the stadium investigative reporting. We showed that contracts were going to cronies that they were not including minority and female companies as promised, and that they fast-tracked the schedule of the stadium, which caused all the tax over, or the cost overruns. So as a result of all that focus on what was going on with our tax money, Hamilton County was forced to get its act together in time for the next stadium project with our money, which came in on time and under budget. So in addition to watching over your taxpayer money, I hope to come up with creative solutions to some of our biggest problems, just like I did on the I-Team. Back in 2001, we had the riots. On the I-Team, we decided, let's take a look at Ground Zero, which was Vine Street, and find out how it got this bad and what we need to do to fix it. So we did a one-hour documentary and ended with 10 solutions to fix Vine Street. We delivered copies of it to City Hall, and luckily, Mayor Lucan, the next month, made Vine Street his number one priority. That led to a series of things, and you can see the results on Vine Street now, what's becoming known as Gateway Quarter. We have dozens of new homeowners. We have dozens of new businesses. And violent crime in Over the Rhine is actually down more than 30%. So what I can promise you is that I will report directly to you through my website, like I'm doing now on the streetcar. I encourage you to go to lqreportingtoyou.com and watch a 10-minute report that I put together to help convince people that this is something we need to do. On a personal note, I'm from Mount Lookout. I'm married. I have a 2-year-old and a 15-year-old who's in Cincinnati Public Schools. So um, what I hope is that you will vote for Lori Q because I report to you. Thank you. Ms. Quinlivan. Please expound on your support or non-support of the current streetcar project. I'm a big supporter of the streetcar project, and I didn't start out that way. About a year and a half ago, when it was first proposed, I read about it in the paper. Long before I even thought about being a candidate, I thought, wow, that's interesting. Um, I wonder if um, one of the stations is going to do an in-depth report on this. And actually, at that time, I was an independent reporter, so I actually tried to get a station to hire me to do that, because I thought we should explore that. That's going to be a big chunk of money. Uh, nobody was interested, but I started investigating myself anyway. I shot video and did some research in Germany. I paid for my own trip to Portland in February, because I wanted to see for myself what is done for that city. I interviewed the mayor and people who ride the streetcar. And that's what's on my website at uh, www.lqreportingtoyou.com. I think it's the best thing we can do right now with our tax money to generate investment. Let me follow up with a related question. Um, affordable housing is clearly a hot mm -hmm. button for the neighborhoods. Um, yet all the current pro rental subsidy programs are capacities with long waiting lists. And um, the only housing many Cincinnati families and seniors can find is unsafe and substandard because it's the only thing they can afford. Mm -hmm. um, what can the city do to increase the amount of good affordable housing for its residents? 
Well, I think one really powerful tool the city can, can employ is that when we give money to any developer for any project, we should make it part of the development agreement that a certain percentage of the units would be affordable housing. This is what they did in Portland in the area that was totally undeveloped that became a great neighborhood because of the streetcar. Part of the deal was if you're going to develop in this neighborhood, 22% is, is what you had to do for affordable housing. So that's one tool that we can use. I also believe we really need a full-time housing court. Uh, we actually proposed that as our number one solution after that Visions of Vine Street um, documentary, and I based it on what I saw in uh, Columbus that's a fantastic housing court that really makes an impact. So we need a housing court like that to provide more, you know, to make the, the affordable housing that we do have better. Ms. Quinlivan, uh, this is a basically a follow-up to your earlier question about affordable housing. Uh, the current redevelopment on Vine Street has some critics who say it's simply s gentrification so far, mm -hmm. and there's no affordable housing so far. It's been upscale units. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a role for affordable housing in future redevelopment on Vine? Yes, and there there is. But first, let me just address that. I, I know that I came up against that a lot when I was doing the reports. And um, the fact of the matter is, nobody was pushed out. Those buildings were empty. There was no one living in the building. Nobody was forced to leave Vine Street so it could be improved. So that's number one. Number two, in the next phase of Gateway Quarter, um, 40% of the units, I forgot what if it's phase two or three, whatever it is, are going to be affordable housing. And you can check that on the uh, 3CDC website. So they're actually, you know, very concerned about that. I mean, we want to have a diverse, mixed neighborhood in Over the Rhine. Was Miss Quinn, Quinlevin? Sorry. And I didn't know that you were ditching on that. <laughs> yeah. When I started, you were, the, you were gone by then. Um, what do you feel... Um, what is the biggest issue facing the city of Cincinnati today? And if elected, how do you plan to solve that? Well, I think there's two big ones, the budget, and it's so obvious, we've been talking about it all night. And the second one, economic development, because we really need to get more people to our city, more businesses and more residents. So we need to attract those people. And the reason I said at the beginning, I think the streetcar is so important is because it's a proven winner in every city that does the modern streetcar. It develops wherever it goes. It draws people there, and that's how we can increase our tax base. That won't be good for just two neighborhoods, but the whole city, because all of that tax revenue will go to our general fund. So the budget, you know, that's the other huge issue, and I think we need to um, incorporate some advice from regular employees in the trenches. They know where the waste is, and I don't think they've been consulted yet, so I would do that. I'd like to say to everyone that if you're one of the people who says, oh, I'm so tired of that city council, here's your chance. You're in charge of this election, so vote in some fresh faces. Please choose me. Think about who do I really want representing me? I'm somebody who's demonstrated courage, commitment, and vision in my work. I've gotten results for taxpayers. Now I want to work directly for you. What I want to do is watch over your taxpayer money, promote the city better to the rest of the world, bring the streetcars, green the Queen City. No one's talked about this, but David Crowley's leaving, and he's been our environmental champion. And I want to fill his shoes, if possible, and really promote green-collar jobs in the city. So remember. Vote for Lori Q because I report to you. Thanks. <laughs>